Hey there, StarCraft fans, it's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Red War Remastered. Today, it's going to be Jadong and Ruin today on Polypoid. It's an RJB replay. You know what that means. Link to his channel in the description. If you haven't actually been there, you need to go there. Top right, it is Jadong. And in the bottom right, it is Ruin. Okay, so we're going to do a teal versus purple here today. See how that works out for us today on Polypoid. Terror the Overlord scout in the wrong direction, but that will save his life. So that's a good thing for Terry the Overlord. A bad thing for Jadong, but a good thing for Terry here. Man, all he's trying to do is just get through his 9 to 5 so he can go home to his wife and kids, read the newspaper, have a nice dinner, and maybe watch the news. All right, so buckle in, because this is going to be one heck of a macro game. <laughs> Nexus firsting it would be so, so, so scary. But a gateway first here. And probe scouting the right direction. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope, not scouting the right direction. Oh, boy. Mm, hatch first here from Jadong. There are zealots in the future for you, Jadong. But hey, if he doesn't know how to handle them, then nobody knows how to handle them, right? Petey the probe here. What's up, Petey? That's right. You have no independent thought. You're a robot. I mean, honestly, not that Overlords have an independent thought because they are either controlled by the Overmind or Kerrigan or whatever psionic control system exists out there, or they're feral and wild, which he's not because he's being told what to do and he's following that, right? So I don't think Terry has any free will either. Just more fun to think that he does. I guess that's the same for Petey the Probe here. Maybe he's got some friends back home he wants to go see. Will he survive to the end of the game? Who knows? What adventures will PD go on today? Will he survive if, you know, if the Protoss wins, that's generally how this works. But if the Protoss doesn't win, I don't know, was he at the third base when he got ravaged by Lings and every probe died? Maybe. God, keeping track of him is going to be impossible, though, so we're not even going to try. Hey, look, what did I say? Zealots in the future. Where's that drone going? That drone's like, oh, uh, bye. Uh, I guess we have to make some wings. Fine. Pro Petey the Probe here is going to fight. Actually, you know what? If Petey the Probe fights with our Robert the Zealot here, then that's uh, that's probably... We well, you know the Probe's going to die. There's just... I mean, obviously the Zealot is the... Pro oh, gosh. That was a ton of hits. You had him! I feel like that was a surround, and then Jadong just kind of whiffed on that. Again, it's hard. Oh, gee willikers. It is difficult to get a full surround on a Zealot if you have slow links. It just is. Oh, Petey the Probe just mineral walked through his buddy Robert and is staying alive. These lings don't have speed, so they're not a huge threat. You countering? Oh, man, look at them. <laughs> Zealots in full retreat. I don't know that you have to be. There are only seven lings here. Two Zealots can kill seven lings. But I guess defending a wall is a little bit easier than like fighting out in the middle of the map, which look how slippery this guy is. See that? Jadong trying to surround that zealot. They coat themselves in Crisco, it seems like. And a third base is on the way from Jadong. Now, letting Jadong lings inside your base is really bad. Let's see if Ruin's going to be able to shut... Oh, a shield battery! What? I mean, it's doing stuff. A zealot died, but I think maybe more than him would have died if not for the heroic shield battery. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible stuff here with shield battery. Come back to the shield battery. There it is. Drain, yeah, drain all that energy off the shield battery. Shield battery having energy is not good. It should have zero energy. Because that means it's done its job. Um, Jibong's kind of committing to a lot of lings right here. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm pretty sure I disapprove. 
Like, come on. There's a cannon. There are a ton of zealots. There's more on the way. There's a shield battery. What do you think you're going to be able to do with lings? Okay, he stopped making lings. He's into drones now. That's nice. He's down 24 to 16 workers, but, you know. At least he stopped making lings eventually. Falcon would have been like, hmm. Hmm. Maybe I can break this. No, you idiot. Absolutely not you're breaking this. Not with all the lings in the world. I mean, okay, maybe with a maxed out army of lings. With 3-3 and adrenal. But not 0-0 zero, zero lings, that's for sure. Blech. All right, zealots are like, maybe you stop making lings and you're trying to drone up now. How about that? And Jedong's like, how did you know? Ah, I have to make more zerglings crap. Some good positioning on these zealots, but they're taking those hits. Oh, let's get the, get the surround. Golly. No surround. No surround for you. It's just impossible. If Jadon can't do it, how can us mortals be expected to do it? It's crazy how impossible it is to surround a zealot. They always work themselves back into these corners, and then you get annoyed, but that, what else can you do? Other than get annoyed, macro hatch at the third base, macro hatch at the natural base. Cool. Meanwhile, other than zealots, we've got Corsairs in production. Which means there really should be a Hydra Den somewhere, and there is not. Nor is there one on the way. Nor is there a, a lair. So... Jadong, pretty... This needs to be a Hydra Den. It's not a Hydra Den, you guys. Uh, this. That's a Hydra Den. Okay. Mm. Man, this Corsair is out. This Corsair is the freest Corsair we have seen in a ZVP in maybe years on this channel. This Corsair is like, wait, there, your Hydra Den's not done? Wait, there are no Scourge at all? Okay, I guess I'll kill two or three Overlords and... I mean, I'm not microing this Corsair very well. I'm maybe a little bit in shock at how well this is working. No, but seriously, if you did a better job with the micro, you could have gotten... I mean, these guys are all clumped up, too. So at the very least, you get a free scout off. Hmm, no lair. Okay. Yeah, look at these dudes all clumped up and stuff. These guys, too. There's one Hydra. It's like, ah, one Hydra. And you'll notice... This might have been a good game to commit to Corsairs, but Ruin says, nah, that plus one Corsair stuff is for wimps. I'm gonna make DTs, I guess, and HTs, and speed zealots with plus one attack, and you're gonna be sorry. That's right, I have plus one attack now, suckers. Get out of here. These Hydras don't want none of this either. Okay, can you defend the third? Like, you got this plugged up. But, uh, okay. Uh, okay, free Hydra. Blah. Free Ling. These guys come over from the natural to defend. With the Lings in numbers, looking pretty good here. So, fine. Jadong gets the army out when he needs it. And by that I mean he needs it to attack. So he's going to come across the map and try to murder Ruin right now. Storm is about 40% complete, so there's a window in which Jadong can get some serious damage done. But also there's a DT amongst his army getting free hits. Yeah, look at these zealots buying time so the DT can get mighty swings off, get four kills. I think all of these kills are Hydras too, which is woof. That DT paying for himself. And yeah, just keeping the Hydras off the front door until Storm is done. Nice job, Mr. DT. Dan the DT. Putting in some delicious work today. Lair coming in. Seems a little late, but cool. Third base on the way from the Protoss. And... There's your Robo. Again, just worried about Lurkers more than anything else. Ooh, get a little Maelstrom research for our Monday today. Got a lot of a, a little Maelstrom research. 
Corsair's got two kills, which seems underperforming considering the Corsair showed up before the Hydroden was done. Really should have more than two kills. Just, I'm just critiquing the job performance a little bit. That's all I'm up to here. I think Overlord Speed would a good, be a good priority here for Jadong, but no. He's getting Lurker Aspect, making more and more Hydras. Like, Overlord Speed to chase the DT would be hot. Oh, what's up, Dark Archon? How are things? I'm plugging the ramp into my own main base so none of the Zealots can get in or out. And the Zealots are like, come on, man. Get out of there. Let us down. We want to go fight. And he's like, no, it's too unsafe. I am <laughs> the lifeguard at this pool. You must wait 30 minutes before eating. Wait, after eating to get in the pool. Okay, now it's been 30 minutes, boys. Let's go. Thank you, Mr. Dark Archon Lifeguard, sir, they say. Hey, faster Overlord movement is coming in. I mean, whatever. Fourth base on the way. Third base done for the Protoss. I'm liking this from Ruin so far. I think he's having a fantastic time. I mean, he's at 120 supplies, at 60 probes on three bases. The Hydras cannot stand against the speed lots with a high Templar support. Lurker's kind of more of a problem, but really, it's impossible for Jadong to win this game until he gets... Okay. It is mostly impossible for Jadong to win this game until he gets a Defiler out. Right? Defiler tech is the key to defeating this whole Zealot High Templar Archon thing. Especially if there's Reavers out, but even just with the Storm, it's really difficult to win here. But, you know what? Jadong's doing his thing. We saw him do this in his EVP last week, where he just said, you know what? He's making all of the Hydras and Lurkers and Lings in the world. Who needs Adrenal? Who needs plus three, plus three on anything? Let's win with 2-2 two, two and just overwhelming numbers. Which... I don't feel good about it. I feel like the win rate of that strategy is not very great. Oh, gosh. Did not cover the... Okay. Well, you know what? What you can do is take down a base that Bruin was pretty casual in trying to establish here. Yeah. I mean... So, fourth base. No. Zealot attack is largely shut down here at the natural. This guy. He's got some plans, and they involve killing a drone. Get him. Get him. One more shot. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna die, but he's gonna die happy. He killed a drone. But yeah, this fourth base. Like, you've got army in position to cover your third, but you didn't think you needed anything to cover your fourth base? Jadong. Beautiful positioning. Way to show up. Taking an angle that was not covered, just barely slipping in there, and bam, shutting it down. Absolutely insane. Insane stuff there. Macro hatch from Jadong. He's got two at his third. He's going for a queen's nest. So Jadong's like, all right, fine. At 13 minutes, I was able to knock down the fourth base, which makes me feel really good as I get a fifth base coming up this top left. But I need that plague. I need that dark swarm. I need the adrenal. Finally going to get metabolic boost at 13 minutes. <laughs> Uh, maybe invest a little bit into Sunkins here. I'm at 54 worker. 65 is where I generally want to be in these macro games. Protoss actually sends un units to defend the fourth base as it warps in this time. Who could have seen that coming? Ah, so stately. That is the word that describes the Protoss soundtrack for Brood War. It is stately. Hive on the way from Ruin. I mean, Jadong. Ruin's not building a hive. He could be building a hive if he mind controlled a drone with this guy, but we didn't research mind control. We just got the Maelstrom. So, yeah. Polypoid's a 
huge map, a lot of places to expand. Four player maps usually are that way. It usually comes down to this nine o'clock and this three o'clock base. Who can win in a ZVP on this map if it goes long enough? 182 supply is effectively maxed out for the Protoss. I really implicitly agree with his choice to move out here. Do you want to go in? I don't know if he wants to go in. Nice storm left side. I mean, doing it now before Dark Swarm comes up is actually a great idea. These lurkers are never going to be more vulnerable <laughs> for the rest of this game. For the rest of the game, they are going to have Dark Swarms in their heads. Ooh, High Templar. One HT against this incoming Hydra army. Not great. But look at him pull back. Maybe they are worried about this giant ball of Protoss that's considering coming up here. Mm, where's Consume? Consume's on the way. Where's Adrenal? Adrenal's on the way. Without Consume or Adrenal, Jadong is pretty vulnerable to this attack. Okay, good storms. Really good storm dodging. As, okay. As good as the storm dodging can be, Maelstrom catches a Zergling. Oh, a Zealot actually got caught by that. Hey, little guy. Escape. No! Ah... Ah, uh, ooh, another beautiful maelstrom on our hydras. Fine. Uh, I think Dark Archon has paid for itself at this point. Not going to complain about it at all. Top left base undefended except for Anitus, which means it is actually pretty well defended. Adrenal's done for these lings. With how heavy Dragoon this army is, and Zealot too, right? Adrenal lings are going to be the answer to a lot of this. In fact, Adrenalings would be the answer to this, except for Storm. Storm existing prevents nothing but Mass Ling being able to destroy this gateway-heavy army from the Protoss. There are a couple Archons mixed in, hiding behind Dragoons, hiding behind Zealots, not getting surrounded by the Lings, then sure, they can do a lot. There's our Plague. I like it. Jadong's got a little army scouting south, trying to pick off individual units. Bottom left coming up from Ruin here at about 17 minutes, too. So, yo, what a fantastic game this has been so far. Jadong's involved. Ruin's involved. Overlord scouts in, sees what's going on, immediately dies. But, hey, information gathered and information is what it's all about in a game of StarCraft. If you know what your opponent is doing and where they are, and that's, that's why map hacking is a thing. Because vision is so important in StarCraft. If someone creates a cheat to give you something in a game, it's really important to winning. Oh, this group just gets separated from the pack and summarily executed. All right, maybe a first real committal here. Support bay on the way. Reavers are gonna be in play here soon. Yeah, these lurkers just not holding the Protoss off as much as they will once Dark Swarm starts protecting them. I feel like they should start protecting them soon because, you know, the filers are out and Consume's been researched, but okay, I guess we're not doing that. I'm just going to try to get a good old-fashioned natural surround on this Protoss army. Try to fight these Dragoons with lurkers, which, I mean... Lurkers aren't horrifically bad against... Okay, but there's your plague. All right, now it's time to write letters home to the mom and dad. Nobody's making it home. Hold on, this guy? No. These guys? Maybe. Run. Run for your lives. There's one Hydralisk. Get him. Nice. Escape. Es no! We're getting cut off. We need reinforcements. And here they come, setting up to the south. The Dragoons. Oh, another one down. If these two make it home. Oh, they are. Those two make it home. Maelstrom and the Storm. Ah, beautiful. Set up an execution there from Ruin. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's so good. Man, Ruin doing pretty well. 
one, he's up 153 to 137 supply. These two Dragoons, uh, I'll count this as making it home. They were given orders to defend an empty base or see if the Zerg player is trying to take it. And they are fulfilling those orders. So that's the same as going home. They're not in the battlefield. They're not trapped, separated from their teammates anymore. Their fellow soldiers. These overlords dying. Are we trying to supply block? Okay, first dark swarm of the day. A plague is in the mix here, too. But it's 164 to 146 supply. Jadong's got 81 drones, though. Holy cannoli! 81 drones is a lot. So, yeah, he, sh he should be able to replenish here forever. Yeah, man, Zealot's all inside your Dark Swarm. They're like, what Dark Swarm? I don't see any bugs. But, see, this is... You can make good trades, but if Jadong's on 80 drones at 20 minutes... And something like six bases. It's, it's tough. That said, look at our guy. Look at our guy down south. Ruin. One, two, three, four, five, six of his own. So he's keeping up in base count. I mean, this one's mined out. But, I mean, a lot of bases are mined out. We're just going to count total bases. I think it's a little bit easier that way. 184 to 171 supply. Ruin is up. Continuing to be up here at 21 minutes. Oh, never mind. There's a seventh base here. Man, that sound of consume. Like, there are sounds that send Protoss players into just shivers of panic and fear. One of them is a siege tank sieging up, and the other one is the sound of consume. Ooh, not the best plague in the world. Anytime you catch your own overlord, you can't be very happy about that. Oh, that's a much, much, much better plague. But the Defiler did die for that one, so take it for what you will. Ooh, is every, ba every base on the map? Hang on, except for this one. Almost every base on the map is being taken. <laughs> what a storm drop. Ah, oh, 71 drones. That's not 80. Ah, oh, revenge. Revenge was had. Wow. That at least had one high Templar in it, didn't it? And yeah, that shuttle is dead now. Yo. Okay, so at this point, I think you just take this base ruin and say, all right, that's it. Map split in half. And you know what? Protoss is going to win a game where the map is split in half against the Zerg. Another sick plague, double plague. Feedback on the energy list defiler, though. Not enough to kill him. You want to feedback that guy before he casts the plague. And, and another delicious storm maelstrom combo. And what might be just kind of the most generally pleasing sound in StarCraft is the maelstrom sound that I can't even really do justice to. But that's the tone. Jadong making his first serious foray into the southern half of the map here in some time. Ah, the Reavers. The Reavers are here. The Lurkers retreat. They do not like Reavers. Nothing on the ground for Zerg likes Reavers. Period. Lings, Hydras, Lurkers, Ultralisks, Defilers, none of these dudes. They're not into it. They're like, oh, there's Reavers? Back it out. Go attack somewhere where there aren't Reavers. Ah, shuttling the Reavers onto the high ground for this 9 o'clock base. What are these guys doing? Wanting to die. That's what they're doing. So yeah, this is just kind of a turtle strat right now from Ruin. He's like, if I can continue to make decent trades, right? Just have my half of the base and let Jadong have his half of the base, then I win. The longer the game goes on and the longer this is a status quo thing where half of the base is here, half of the base is there, I'm okay with it. 
Reaver killing a single Zergling. It's like... Still cost efficient, man. Still cost efficient. Reaver shots... Unless they hit nothing. They're always pretty good. Cost for cost. He's even getting the Scarab damage upgrade. Adding 25 to the already 100 damage on the Reaver that it's doing splash. That's insanity. Pure insanity. Reavers on a hunting expedition with good old... Sh oh, never mind. Shuttle can't save you now because Shuttle has all of, like, 3 HP. You really don't want to pick up Reavers when you have a 3 HP Shuttle, do you? Not so much. Ooh, hold position Archon is a dead Archon. <laughs> In the land of Hydralisks! Hold position Archon is a dead Archon. Dude, there are so many High Templar up here, it's not even funny. Defiler made it out with all of 6 HP to his name. A lot of some n close calls today. Yeah, man. Uh, Jadong has to do something. He has to create opportunity here because he's... He can't let this be the status quo. I mean, I appreciate that he is sunkening up this right side base because he's going to abandon it. But, I mean, those are just resources that otherwise could be going to attacking units that could go towards killing a base instead of defending a base. That's, w again, that's why Zergs aren't super duper into static defense. Like, as much as Protoss is, anyway. Woo-wee! That guy makes it out. His buddies all died, but... Oh, never mind. He dead. Yeah, there's little, little, tiny, small-scale stuff here. At a base that's defunct. I mean... I, I kind of understand not just letting Jadong have it, but at the same time... Maybe just let him have it? Pretty good storm dodging. It's kind of like Marines. If you have enough Marines left over after, you know, all of the plague and the lurkers and everything, you can get a lot of damage done. Hydra DPS is nuts. Okay, plaguing three Archons and a cannon. Eh. Not the worst plague of all time because it hits something, but still not one of the top 10. Nice ob snipe. 200 to 200 supply. Jadong's got a better bank than Ruin does. So that may help him overcome the fact that we're effectively on even base count. Except for this, right? This... If Ruin can't take this base, which I can't imagine he'll never be able to, you know what I mean? Then this could represent a Jadong win condition. Nice lurker egg on the ramp. I mean, that is... That is a trick as old as time right there. Like, ah... Rap. Enemy units are coming to kill me. Lurker egg on the ramp. Immediate, very long little force field that is very difficult to get through. Ooh, good storm up here. Low ground to high ground. Some drones died. Uh, more drone. Okay, more storm dropping happening. 60 workers now for Jadong. He's going to replace them. He's throwing up three more drones. I don't know. I mean, at some point, you realize these mineral patches are not going to last forever. So tell you what, let's instead not make drones. See, use these drones instead. Why are you making nine more drones? Holy fleet beacon, what? What? This is not a time to go uh, carriers, you insane man. He's going more stargates. No, 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 no. Not when there's hydras and plague and dark swarm in abundance. That's not when you make carriers. Dude, Jadong wings. They got a High Templar. That's insane. Oh, uh, gam gamete meiosis, everyone. 
Jadong is upgrading to Queen Energy? Is he going to try to spawn Broodling these High Templar? I support it. That was part of my all-time unstoppable strategy in ZVP back in 1998-99 when I was coming up with all my own strategies for StarCraft. Let me tell you what it was. It was two control groups of Mutas, a control group of Guardians, a control group of Devourers, and like 10 Queens with Overlords for detection. And then you just move into the Protoss army, you use the Queens to snipe any High Templar that exists and everything else dies. Easy peasy. Right? Why don't Zerg players do that now? <laughs> Anyway, good times. So yeah, Jadong recognizes what this base means to the future of this game. So he's parked here. You can kind of simultaneously threaten this base and this base and reinforcements from the right side of the map. Can't really get to the left side of the map by going through here. And these guys are kind of covering other angles. So it's a Zerg contain. Oh, it gets plague on two of these Reavers. That's big. They were not previously plagued, so you know. You know, the storms, they never have to end. What in the name of Fergus McDudson? What? It, what? Okay, so we get scout speed, scouts in production, and seven queens get fired up at 31 minutes. You know what's a really good counter to queens? Scouts are, actually. What? Is this a super insane blind counter by Ruin? Is Jadong blindly doing something that's terrible against the unthinkable strategy that ruins employment? What is this? This is freeing up supply. I don't know what else that would be from Ruin today. I'm impressed by Jadong's utter stranglehold on this base. Dude, Spawn Rubin getting researched. He gets a storm off and retreats behind it with all of 3 HP. This has been a game of absolute close call. I'm weird funning this game. This is weird fun... Without a doubt, I have no idea what on earth is compelling Ruin to make scouts right now. Other than they're okay at hunting down queens and killing them. Because Jadong's investing a lot of money into queens for some unfathomable reason. You can't spawn Broodling Reavers. You can't spawn Broodling Archons. Like, you can only spawn Broodling really High Templar that's going to make it worth it. Look at Jadon taking this base. Dude, come on. You know High Templar can sit right here and storm this, right? You've had that happen to you on this map, I'm sure. Ooh, little mind control coming in and Arbiter Tribunal on the way. Why not, says Ruin. Why shouldn't I? This is, this is quite possibly the dumbest game I've cast in a long time. Oh. Storm. Every lurker that dies is a win for Ruin right now. Because that's money that Jadong has to spend. That is finite. This is the kind of game that it is. Energy is infinite. Units are finite. Lings are finite. I know they're cheap. I get that. But in a game where the map is mined out, they're not. They're not infinite for the purposes of this match. Ooh, good snipe on that Reaver, though. Man, every Reaver, too. Every Reaver is death. Yeah, I mean, Jadong, 12,000 resources. Well, minerals and 5,000 gas. Ruin, 5,000 gas and 5,000 minerals. I don't know that Jadong's ever really going to be able to harvest from... Look at this! Spawn Broodling on the High Templar! Ruin says, wait, What? What is happening? 
And, uh, I mean, like, 15-year-old Falcon is just out of his mind excited that Jadong has spawned Broodling High Templar here. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Yep, this game is crazy. I like it. Come on, that Ooh, two more volleys. Got it. Get it, got it. Good. Let cannons do their job here too. Hydras really want to snipe reavers. They don't want to kill cannons. They don't care about killing cannons. This is the dumbest. This is the dumbest thing. Where are there? Okay, so he made exactly three scouts and said we're good. I mean, he's also maxed out. He can't make anything else. But I can't imagine he made scouts, got the speed upgrade for them, and then was like, that's all. We got three scouts. That's all we need. However, if Jadong starts going heavy into lurkers and not many hydras at all, and then these scouts pop out and hunt down these queens and kill them all, then Jadong's going to be an extremely sad panda. Move the observer up to get vision on the high ground. Ah, losing a reaver to a sunken. Not great. A little in sure. Little ensnare here at 36 minutes. Why wouldn't we get a little ensnare? So, 9 o'clock base from Jadong is running. He's actually technically mining from this base. Which has been sunken up beyond which I've ever seen a base sunken up before. At the professional level, have we ever seen somebody like Jadong throw up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, n eight, nine sunkens at one base? Maybe, maybe in, you know, desperate situations like this. I've definitely cast games fairly recently in this kind of situation. He's killing his own probes for supply. Oh, Dark Archon sniped. Reavers getting a defiler, catching a plague in return here in I mean stasis on the way three high templar spawn broodlings another one too ooh mind control on a queen mind control on another queen and feedback on one but again had almost no energy so the feedback didn't do much damage that's the second time today that our friend Ruin here has waited until a spellcaster is cast and then feedbacked it. High Templar snipe again. This... <laughs> this is crazy. Crazy taxi. I don't know what that defiler was trying to do. What an absolutely crazy micro challenge this has been so far, isn't it? Like I said, 64 drones is too many drones. Look at these guys. They've been hanging out up there for like 20 minutes so far. You can still sit here and storm this. I, Ruin has to know that. Another High Templar snipe. I mean, I feel like we're just going to sit here for a while. Every single mineral that Jadon can get out of this base that does not go to ruin is a massive win for him. And really, oh, here come the scouts. Here come the scouts. Look at this. They can sit above this mineral line and harass it with their garbage damage attack. These drones have three armor, sir. I'll have you know. Oh, that's a beautiful storm, too. That's what we're talking about. He does know. He does know how to storm that angle. Dude, this is. This is possibly. 
one of the weirdest, weirdest games I've ever cast. I mean, I've cast some weird ones. I think I have a weird fun tag. If you ever want to go through the games that I've deemed weird fun. There's a playlist for him. Go check him out. Honestly amazing. Sure, let's get recall. Why not? Let's use our queen. They come with the abilities they have too. So the queens have spawn broodling. Which they can use on defilers. Ah, oh, the scourge! No, they killed one! They killed one of the they killed one of the scouts. Uh, but another scout is already in queue. Or whatever. Maybe waiting, maybe not. He's going for that three scout setup here with giving them no attack upgrades at all. Again. Oh, an ensnare, and then the scourge are much easier to connect, and another scout goes down. That's right. More scouts are dying. Ugh. Ugh. Taking out an observer can't take down a shuttle, though. A queen does go down. Oh my gosh. Oh, ensnared Maelstrom! Scourge flying overhead. Reaver gets totally sniped down. Nice stasis, too. This is. I think Jadong has this game solely because his bank is significantly bigger than Ruins and... Yeah. Ruins running out of cash, but so is Jadong. Uh, man, could this get epic tagged as well? That's the crazy thing. Feedback. Mm, on a queen and a mind control. So another two queen combo. One gets feedback to death and the other one gets mind controlled. God, more drones dying over here. And a Hydra. So, we're making more and more Dark Templar. We are going to mine out Polypoid. That's crazy. This is a huge map. Ooh, Spawn Broodling on Lurkers is pretty good, too. Look at the Queen's hunting. Hunting for... Oh, that one's going to die, though. Okay, that wasn't worth it. This one, too. Okay, I get it. You get a one-shot of High Templar, but don't die in the process. Oh, yeah, four Dark Archons at a time coming in. These ones are already here. These ones are here. Is he building more? Yeah, he's building more in his main. Jadong decides it's time to possibly clear out. Yeah, you can have that. Clear out the main base. Just bringing Lurker Hydra all the way down here. The, I mean, Archons can't do anything, really. Shuttling over some Reavers would do a world of good. High Templar Storm also awesome, but as we notice, you High Templar got sniped before this attack actually showed up. Man, this guy is brave and extremely dumb. Let's charge into the breach. Oh, what a Reaver shot. What a Reaver. He dead, but what a Reaver shot or two there. What? High Templar snibbity snipe. Zerg's got 10,000 minerals and 7,000 gas in the bank. You think he can flood you? You think he can keep this flood up until your main base is gone? Absolutely he can. Meanwhile, still playing the same game over here as Ruin, trying to break up this ramp. Maybe reclaim this base for his own. He doesn't care about his main. He doesn't care about all these gateways that exist up here. That hatch. Dude, more drones keep dying. Drones evacuing from the position. The scarab getting all caught up. Queens are not quite sure what to do with themselves with their max 250 energy. 
against Lings, there's nothing they can really do. And the complete ravaging of the main base of Ruin is in continuance and will continue until it is dead. But yeah, that's a dead hatch for the second time, mind you. Hatch down. Still some money here. But if Jadong is just buying enough time to where Ruin doesn't have this base, in exchange for all of these gateways and all of these tech structures going down, I think Jadong's okay with that. I think Jadong's fine. Look at that. The robotics bay is going to die. All those vacuum cleaners are out. Oh, a feedback attempt on a defiler with, again, hardly any energy. Ah. Another fun maelstrom. This Archon's like, wait, do you have any more maelstroms, guys? No. Okay, bye. And fairly well, Dark Archons. No real natural defenses to speak of. Spawn Broodling uh, from Ruin onto a Defiler. You know, just the kind of thing that's been happening in this game to absolute insanity. Oh, oh no, the Arbiter did die, but nice Scourge on those, uh, or nice Stasis on those Scourge. Yeah, this, as far as thumbnails go, that's pretty good. But also there's scouts in this game? I don't... Yeah, what in the heck? Can he actually expand here? At 46 minutes, can he actually expand? Oh, playing on that shuttle is so good. No, there's way too much Zerg waiting for you to do that, and then your Nexus dies for nothing, nothing at all. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Ruin's sitting at about 170 supply, making more Arbiters and more shuttles and stuff. North attack kind of feeling it out here. These guys get stuck attacking into a weird position. These Reavers honestly should probably just come down here and help defend. Jadong just really making it hard for Ruin to feel safe to expand here. Just on the other side. Keep sending keep sending individual Zergi units in just to make sure just to make sure you know. Oh my gosh, another good Maelstrom. Scout's in here, cloaked, but there is an Overlord, so he's not cloaked at all, is he? Arbiter takes a Scourge hit, survives. There are tougher things in the world. Another, the 87,000th Plague just happened here at 47 minutes. Bank's about the same for both players. Jadong has no income currently. There's still a little bit of mining going on in this bottom left here. For Ruin. I think... Based on the current situation, it, that Ruin might have been able to do this thing. It's not over. I'm not, you know, I'm not calling it a win for the Protoss, but economically, which is really what matters more than anything in these games a lot of the time, economically, the Protoss can be more cost efficient in a game where Jadong is not getting any more minerals, I can tell you that much, unless he can wipe out this base again and reestablish. Which is not impossible. Could be able to come up here and deal with it, but man, look at this. This is jets and sharks over here. They're snapping at each other and singing songs as they face each other across the street. I mean, I would feel bad for quoting West Side Story, except for the fact that they remade it recently. So, you should know what West Side Story is, if just because it's a moderately recent thing now. Another feedback on a queen. That didn't have enough energy to kill it. Okay, Ruin, you really gotta work on this. I mean, how often do you... There you go. Do you really feedback anything in Brood War? But it comes up. You gotta know what to do. Don't just blindly feedback whatever caster you happen to see. Do not chase. Do not chase. It's a trap. Arbiter-kun, it's a trap. There you go. He pulls back. He's safe. He's safe. Greater Spire coming in from Jadong. Mm -hmm. My salvation shall be in Guardians, maybe. What are these drones doing? They're eating up scarab shots. That was like four scarabs for one drone. 
So that wasn't cost efficient, I don't think. Maths. Let me do maths here. Okay, Ruin says, let's go. Let's take it. This is the death knell for Jadong if I get this base, and I'm sure he knows it too. Jadong says, drops? You know how much Falcon loves drops. You know how the win rate for Zergen's EVP goes up when there's drops? Maelstrom. On some Scourge. And they kill the Arbiter anyway. Almost. A 50 minute ZVP featuring Jadong and Ruin. This is getting epic weird fun tagged without a doubt. Without a doubt. This is, hmm. Another beautiful plague. <laughs> Just Scourge City here. Scarab City, I guess, more likely to say. I don't, I just don't, what are we doing? What are we doing, lads? We're going for it. Ling's flooding in from the top and the right side. Dark Archons, are, um, there's another Maelstrom on a Defiler, but enough Archons inside Dark Swarm to generally hold here. Right side getting overrun by the Zerg. Where are the Scarab shots? The Zerg's bank was at something like 13,000. It's down to 1,000 now. I think that might have been the last hurrah for Jadong. And Ruin just gets an economic win in a very, very weird game. He just mind controlled the Defiler over here. Okay, Dark Archon gets sniped. This Hydra group's kind of scared. We just stasis half of them. Come on. Ah, that's a dead Nexus. That's a dead Nexus. Look at this drone. I'm helping. You are helping, little guys. And the Nexus goes down. But Jadong doesn't have any cash. Not much at all. 600 minerals. Not going to do it for you. Long run. Reavers, man. Reavers. Maelstrom on a single ling and an overlord. More storms than he can stake, shake a stick at here today. Yeah, man. I think Jadong smells it. He's making three queens with the last of his minerals here. Parasiting overlords. Parasiting overlords is what Ruin is doing with his queen. Jadong says, must long, must increase revenue supply. Come on, get it, get it. Ooh, Observer survives. Drones somehow kind of get lost on the way back. Where are you going? Just return to a hatchery. Why are you hanging out? Ruin's replacing his robotic support bay because Reavers have been so integral into winning this game and he's only got one remaining. This is tight, actually. This is a little bit tighter, I think, than it was a minute ago. Jadon getting any kind of resource, res oof, resources as an Arbiter gets sniped there. Why are drones getting close enough is he trying to bleed off scarabs with drones? But man, I would be using every available drone to be long distance mining right now. I would not be using them to try to bite, bait scarab shots out of these reavers. That seems like a terrible idea.
is this, this just has to be mistakes, right? Why would you send your drones into this? I am shocked like four of them made it out. That should not have happened. Five of them made it out. I guess this is the closest hatch, but you can manually tell them to go to a safer one, you know. Dude, 130 to 61 supply though. I mm. Nah. Nah. Alright, Jadong. It was a worthy effort, but the absolute insane cost efficiency of the Protoss today. Making it happen. Casual 27 kill Archon here with the 15 kill next to him. What a good buddy he is. These Archons are new. Oh, mind controlling a Defiler. And the Lings are like, no you don't, traitor! Ah, but he makes it out. He makes it out. Is he the only one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Scourge trying to kill enemy queens in his EVP. This is... Look at this ragtag group that Ruin's working with. Archons, Dark Archons, Overlords, Defilers, Queens, Reavers, High Templar. There were scouts in this game. Bond ruling on the High Templar. Three of them go down. And a mind control snatches that guy. GG! Ruin gets the win in a 56 minute Mind numb. No, you you need to leave now, Ruin. Mind numbing, mind blowing PVZ. That is weird, fun, epic, tagged to the extreme. One of the craziest ZVPs I've ever cast in my entire life. Protoss had scouts he built of his own accord. He mind controlled queens and defilers today. And overlords to help him provide detection. He had Dark Archons up the wazoo, obviously. Tons of Reavers. There was Maelstrom, more Maelstroms in this game than like the last hundred games combined. <laughs> it came down to a fight for the soul of this base. I think if Jadon can hold on to this, he can maybe eke out a win. Because our Protoss dude is out. He is out of cash. He's got 100 minerals on that patch, 1,000 minerals in the bank. If Jadon can hold this thing and mine from it, he wins, but he couldn't. He mined from it a bit. It's a very hard base to hold when the Protoss is entrenched in this bottom left because High Templar can easily hit you from here, as we saw a bunch of times. But Ruin very patiently, very, very patiently, just making good trade after good trade after good trade after good trade. And the longer the game goes on, the more good trades there are, and it adds up, and then you win. <laughs> Simply what a match. I don't even know what else to say about it. Gah. Crazy. That's all I gotta say. Crazy, 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 super fun game. 502,000 points today from Jadong. 462,000 points from Ruin. <laughs> 1,647 Zerg units produced. Only 400 Protoss Warriors were made in this game. That is a 4 to 1 outproduced ratio. 4 to one and the kill death ratio was about four to one structures raised 69 of them nice by jadong 14 by ruin and jadong did outspend the protoss but only by about 10,000 resources in 56 minutes is not enough it is simply and entirely and completely not enough. <coughs> A 56 minute PVZ with scouts and mind control and maelstrom.
and queens and queens with spawn broodlings spawn broodlings against high templar oh all right well gg ruin man you just played it slow played it patient continued making as many good trades as he could did end up having to wipe out that base in that bottom left if he was going to win this game, but he did it. Reavers are good. Archons are good. Arbiters. There were Arbiters with Stasis in this game. Arbiters. So hats off. Two thumbs up. One of the better, craziest games I have cast on the channel in a very long time. And that's going to be it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. Thank you.